Hey guys, half a year ago I did a public speaking in front of a couple hundred people in a well-known event. The topic was of course freestyle ice skating and my story. I did it for free, but they didn't want to support me by uploading the video because I was wearing our team's hoodie with the logo on it. So I decided to redo the whole speech in English so you can watch it too and I can upload it. And now I can use cool background clips instead of those boring images. The speech started with a one minute intro edit I did. You already know these clips very well, but that's how it started. So here we go. One of the biggest unsolved mysteries in the world is how could people skate only in circles for so long? Have you ever thought about that? Why had it never happened what you just saw in the clips? Well, I have an idea why this never happened. But this? Or this? What you just saw is called freestyle ice skating. I'm one of the lucky guys who had the chance to start among the firsts. At this moment, I have the most visited channel on YouTube in this category. How did I and the sport evolve to this point? It was a bumpy ride, as you might expect. In 2010, when I started, I already had experience in a couple of extreme sports. I thought we could simply bring more into ice skating. We could create some value here, like building up a small community and do cool tricks, which could be fun to watch too. Or even more create custom equipment or getting sponsors. Well, I thought that, but nobody else. I literally couldn't talk about this to my friends, otherwise I got questions like, how's your ballet going? Dude, I'm trying to do some extreme here, it's not ballet. I knew something new has started. It wasn't obvious for anybody else. You know, when everybody is against you, you tend to think the whole thing over. Maybe they are right. For example, if a lot of people say these clothes doesn't really fit, mm, I don't really care about that either. Look, I'm wearing tracksuit here. The community at the old ice rink was simply awesome. We never chatted each other when to meet. It was obvious without saying. We created a short edit which was uploaded on YouTube under the name of Freestyle Ice Skating. That was in early spring when the outdoor rinks usually close. We said goodbye to each other and see everyone next year. I couldn't wait to learn and invent new moves when the ring finally opens next winter. However, that never happened. We heard the news that the ice ring closed permanently. That was a deep and painful experience. Occasionally I still dream about the place after 8 years. It was extremely important to me. We decided to take the ring's name as our team name. It basically means skaters from this district and also created a set of hoodies with a logo. The logo captures a stop. Where to go from this point? Freestyle could be an awesome sport, and we can't practice it anywhere. A few new people got interested in it in the meantime. What can we do now? Let's go to a frozen lake and continue filming there. Two years have passed when we could do another edit. I really liked going there and filming, but the audience were not much interested in the final product on YouTube. This was the maximum back then. Have we reached the end of the road with this sport? I was not ready to give up. 
Thankfully, others started to upload videos on YouTube as well. People from other countries. They uploaded clips from new tricks which I have never seen before. That's it, count me in, I'm a learning all of them. I have uploaded my first tutorial just to initiate some contact with the community. But I still believe that the biggest value resides in these short image films. So I started to work on the third episode of Freestyle Ice Skating. I searched for sponsors. And if you saw the video, you know that I could list quite a couple there. We received this huge ice ramp from Like Ice, which would be still a big deal nowadays. But many people helped too. After uploading, the video finally got some recognition and so did the sport. Segments of it was selected into the best of YouTube series. Somebody recorded this in a South American fast food restaurant. We also made it into a German advertisement. However, these are all foreign countries. At home there is still many troubles on ice. And well, in many other countries too. Can I break this resistance somehow? I needed a tool. I realized that the tutorial video reached quite a few people that I uploaded earlier. If I grab this tool, I can increase the popularity of the sport. More people will do it, and instead of banning the sport, we might get support from the rings eventually. But that's a long road full of hard work. Well, first of all, I need to learn each trick, train physically and keep them in my memory. Need equipment to record the videos write scripts in English and make tutorials. YouTube also requires strategies, moreover these are often changing. Such strategies are to make videos which are understandable by themselves but still form a community by using special words. I need to grab attention in seconds otherwise people will click away. And I also need to invest time to share my content in other platforms. Ok, what was the first step? Ah, to train! I have to admit. I got stuck here already. There wasn't a single place I could train off ice. Nowadays I'm doing tricking as well. I increase the risk of injury if I don't find an appropriate place. What I did is I obtained some outdoor pillows and used them as crash mats. This was the only place I could train peacefully. But the parking lot was a half kilometer away. The pillows kept falling down in every 50 meters. So what's that in the background then? Why didn't I use it? It seems to be a huge gymnastic mat. I was sent away several times when I tried. Ok, doesn't matter. I will solve the problems. All problems. Life finds a way. As for my channel, it's around 30k subscribers. At the moment it's the most followed page in freestyle. How did my story begin? Not even my friends believed in me. But I think it's perfectly enough if I believe in myself. I wonder what the next generation will do on ice. They are young and already great. What the future holds for this sport is a topic for a later time. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this short edit from the speech. Go forward with your dreams too. Don't care about anything else. For ice skating content, you know I'm here. See you later. Have a nice icy day.